At this time, I need to attach my pinch pot that I created. In order to attach, I let them both dry, and now I'm going to slip and score so that I can attach them properly. Notice that when I am slipping and scoring, I'm using my fork, I'm making those grooves, I'm going to make sure I do cross hatching. So the grooves are going in multiple directions. And then when I'm done with doing this on the actual container that I made coiling, now I'm going to take out my project that I did with the pinch pot and I'm going to do the same thing. Where these two pieces overlap, I'm crossing my fork, I'm making that cross hatching motion so that I am scoring the clay, creating grooves that the two will use to lock together and stay in place. Once I've completely finished doing my scoring for both pieces, I'm going to take the slip and I'm going to put this mayonnaise consistency that acts as a glue onto my pieces. And I'm going to do it on both pieces where they are scored so that there's a lot of slip in there and they are properly gluing. Most likely my coil pot and my, my pinch pot are too dry and I'm not going to be able to smooth that edge out. So I'm actually going to make my sm myself a very small thin coil. It's going to be much thinner than the coils that I used when building my actual piece. And I'm going to take this and create a nice seam where the two meet so that it blends together and has a smooth transition and you can't tell where one spot starts and another one stops. When I place my quill onto my project, I pushed it down to make sure that that remaining slip kind of oozed out of it and filled any cracks or gaps. Then I am blending in the coil on both the top and the bottom so that it looks like my container is made up of one solid continuous piece of clay. I can no longer see where that seam is where the two pieces from that pinch pot and the coil pot end up meeting together. I'm going to make any last second corrections that I want before I move on and I'm going to finish up my project like this and if you notice it looks nice and symmetrical and it's one continuous piece.